Today's top player is Zia Mahmood of Pakistan, London, and New York City. Author, ACBL Player of the Year in 1991, and one of the most outstanding bridge personalities in the world. I have Zia Mahmood with me today. Zia, of all the things that you could have done, why did you choose bridge? Well, actually, it's a kind of a bit of a strange story. Um, I was once a CPA, which is rather boring, and I started playing bridge, and I got totally kind of transfixed and intoxicated by it. But I come from the East in a, a very superstitious climate where I am. So I figured that before I changed my job and left my family and wandered around the world to play bridge, before I made this decision, I have to have a sign because I believe in fate. And I said, one day I'll have a sign. And if I get that sign, I'll become a bridge player as opposed to whatever I was doing. So I waited for some time and no sign came. And I was beginning to have second thoughts about you know moving to bridge or carrying on working. And finally, one night, when I was asleep in my house in Pakistan, there was a voice that called me in the middle of the night. And I was happy because I'd been waiting for this. And I was really you know, expectant. And I wanted to see what the message was of fate to tell me what I should oh, what do. What did she say? Well, not she, but it was, <laughs> it was a voice. And it called my name at about 3 in the morning. And I woke up. And I said, yes, tell me, what should I do, fate, voice of fate? And about three times, the name called me, Zia, Zia. And finally, I said, yes, tell me, speak to me. What should I do? And voice of fate, tell me. And the voice answered, well, this is not a voice of fate, Zia, you stupid. This is your brother, Ali, and I'm locked out, and I've lost my key. <laughs> Open the bloody door. <laughs> so that moment, I knew that bridge was for me, and I should leave everything. It wasn't quite the voice of destiny, but it was a message. It was close enough. And I needed any excuse to go and spend the rest of my life playing bridge, which I have been doing ever since, and I love every moment of it. And so successfully, too. What characteristic do you have that, that really makes you, and I'm sure you think you're the absolutely the best player in the world. No, and I don't you think probably so. are. I know it, but I don't yeah. think it. <laughs> <laughs> it's partly something that you're gifted with, but it's also partly an interest and a, a desire to be as good as you can. And all players in any field, I think, mm -hmm. who excel are people who are so involved in the game, they try and pursue their own excellence. Mm -hmm. And for me, playing bridge is, I mean, I want to be the best in the world, but really I want to be the best I can be myself. Mm -hmm. And I must confess, bridge is a game that on occasion you can be, I can be as bad as any beginner, and I can be better than any other player. So my own standard varies, really, like the moods of the day. I mean, it, it's, it's something well, that's not constant. I have to tell you, I'm delighted that your brother got locked out that day <laughs> because you have added so much to the bridge world. Thank you very much.